Hey, hey, Colleen Winnie here, ColleenWinnie.com, coming to you live from my home in North Vancouver. I want to show you a experience that's happened to me over many years. This is a more of a fresh experience to do with my loved ones in passing who show me their presence and how my clients are experiencing the presence of their loved ones that work with them as coaches, as spirit guides, as um, there are many, many different names, but we're shown these ways that let us know that they exist. It's been happening to me for over 20 years, and one of my first beloveds that um, showed his presence to me, well, two of them, one was my cousin Rob and one was my father, Jerry. And Jerry loves to move little objects, and so he started out on my side table, and over 22, 23 years later, he still moves things. So to give you an example, let's take a peek and uh, show you. So I'm gonna get in the, in the frame here. So this is my beautiful heart-shaped heart vase. Has a bunch of uh, stones and some sh few shells on top. And this here is my, uh, a few beautiful crystals surrounding it. Now, I'm pretty organized, so oh, I see some scratches that have happened here <laughs> from the moves. Anyway, so the crystals normally are placed very nicely, you know, kind of in a circle with the same distance around. And if you take a look here, one of the first things, actually I should show the first thing that happened, is if you look up here and you look at the corner, now I'm pretty organized. Can you see the distance of this is sitting from here to here? And it's now moved over to the, to the edge. Right, this, this is way over on the edge. I never would place things like that. I'm just way too freaking organized. And it would normally sit back here when I placed it. And this is a heavy, heavy, heavy glass vase. You can see, look at all the stones that are in there. So that's the first thing is, you can again, look how far it's moved from the rear up to here. There has not been an earthquake. There's nothing that has, um, like moved and nobody in particular has been in this corner of my room so that's the first thing and then these beautiful crystals he loves moving things this one here is touching up against and they both are pretty much pretty darn close and these two have come together formed a beautiful union so this is one example of moving objects from our loved ones that I am assured I do not even question anymore. It is the way it is. And I feel so nurtured and so loved when I have an experience of my loved one. I'll just come back in the frame here. Hope I'm in the frame. Hey guys, so there you have it. There's one experience and with my father over the years, uh, he's always, eventually I dust. <laughs> Eventually, I wipe things clean because things get dusty over the years um, and you don't want to leave things and you want to move things around. But no matter what I've done, first time he played around with my side table, he'd take a frame and he would turn it and turn it and turn it until it was no longer facing outward. It was facing me at the bedside, right? So that was one way. Another was when there were some rocks that I had. And funny enough, I never thought to place this one beautiful black stone in the direction that he placed it and it was a you know a stone has different dimensions and different points and it was on my side table much like these stones and crystals are and then I come in one day and it's literally upside down and it was just the position of it was kind of magical it had a symbolism to it and um, I wanted you to have this experience I have many experiences uh, we had the most amazing, amazing, wow session yesterday as a, as a medium, as an intuitive, as a holistic health educator. Um, I do work with clients and um, I work with them on a deep level so they can clear the mud that's in their heart, that's stuck in the cells, that's holding them back from manifesting and vibrating at a of energetic vibration that allows them to attract more of what they want vibrant health love money and magic and so um, yesterday we'll just say this beautiful session involved my client her father who passed away two and a half years ago my father who passed away over 20 years ago 
and myself. So there was four of us involved in this incredible transformational session. She was just so moved and so graceful. And I know we'll be working together some more because once you start a process, including the holistic realm, it's going to outwardly impact every single part of your life. And I'm all about having people live healthy beyond 100 or healthy to 100. And when you look at a five-star approach that I, I work with um, my clients, I do Skype coaching and telephone and um, in person for a local in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, North Vancouver actually. And this allows us to access the, the core part of our energy, which then dictates outward. And so we are looking to, um, I'm forgetting my own little verbs, but do you want to feel good so the emotional wellness is paramount? It's number one, guys, is number one. Then we want to um, move our body, right? This is where the fitness and the movement comes involved. We want to prime ourselves, prime our body, which is with quality supplementation, lower risk of illness. I work with people on supplements, have an amazing business that I'm just so blessed having, uh, being a part of the natural rev health revolution, natural health revolution. And then uh, the next part of the five-star approach is working with the spiritual alignment, you know, your personal alignment, your alignment with yourself, with God, with source, and with your relationships. And finally, the fifth part of living healthy to 100 or beyond is, is you need to monetize your life. You need to monetize and set yourself up for financial wellness because if you don't have the money to continue living, well into a, into your later years, you, you're going to have some challenges with the quality of your life. So ColleenWinnie.com signing off. Just wanted to show you uh, a recent experience over the last little while where my loved one, he loves to play with the signs. Okay guys, have an amazing day. Bye for now.